Hello, I'm Melbourne Cup Max. Each year I do a series of videos about horses likely to feature in the upcoming Melbourne Cup. You can check them all out by clicking on MaxWatch at pickthecupwinner.com.au. This video is about a five-year-old gelding from Germany named Loft. He is trained by a very successful German trainer, Marcel Weiss. Marcel also trains Torquator Tasso, who won the world-famous Arc de Triomphe at Longchamp in 2021. I understand Loff will remain in Australia and, and be trained at Lindsay Park by Ben and J.D. Hayes. They are the grandsons of the legendary Colin Hayes. He trained two Melbourne Cup winners, Belldale Ball in 1980 and Attalac in 1986. Loft was purchased earlier in uh, 2022 by the ownership group headed by Aussie Kia. This uh, syndicate owns the 2021 Melbourne Cup winner, Very Elegant. They are joined in the ownership of Loft uh, by um, the well-known Hong Kong horse owner, Edmund Lee. In uh, 2022, Loft has run two two-mile weight races one in Europe and one in North America. He won both of these races. He broke the race record in uh, Belmont, in the Belmont Stakes in the USA. He actually ran 3 minutes 16.68. That is fast. As a matter of fact, uh, Loft hasn't finished out of a place in his eight starts since May 2021. Indeed, Loft hasn't been out of the top three in anything over 2,400 metres throughout his entire career. It is suggested we haven't seen the best of him yet. Wow. Can Loft win the Melbourne Cup? Well, my only concern is Loft will not be running in any Australian race prior to the Melbourne Cup. But perhaps this snippet of information might give us a guideline. On the 15th of September, it was announced that uh, Australia's leading jockey, James MacDonald, has been engaged to ride loft in the 2022 Melbourne Cup. Now, it's almost unheard of for the number one jockey in the country to commit to a ride, um, or a specific Melbourne Cup ride, six weeks out from the running of the Cup. Another gauge could be the uh, fact that uh, soon after J-Mac was engaged as the Cup jockey, Loft's price in the Melbourne Cup futures markets dropped from $15 to $8. What do you think? By the way, my goal is uh, to always have at least six horses running for me in the Melbourne Cup for no outlay. You'll find details of uh, how to do this at uh, in my ebook. Are you ready for luck, especially at Melbourne Cup time? Again, you can check it out at pickthecupwinner.com.au. Also, at the same site, you'll find how to pick the winner of the 2022 Melbourne Cup. I invite you to check them both out there. May I ask a favour of you? I sure would appreciate if you would forward this video on to friends and tell them about uh, my website, pickthecupwinner.com.au. Thanks for doing that. I wish you tons of luck and much success with your 2022 Cup selections. Making a move on the extreme outside as the field comes from the top of the stretch and here comes Strong Tide right alongside of Aban as Loft takes third, Sabolian on the inside in fourth. They come into the stretch with Strong Tide, the leader. Aban is dropping out of it. Loft up on the outside. It is Strong Tide and Loft, then British Royalty. Here is Loft to take over the lead now. It is Loft in front, and the German bred will win his U.S. debut in the two-mile Belmont Gold Cup.